What is going on, everybody? It's Thunder, and welcome back to some classic Team Deathmatch. Because your boy Thunder is all about the classics. Uh, if any of you guys wondered what COD 4 would have been like without the martyrdom, the juggernaut, the stopping power, and the frag times 3, come on over to classic Team Deathmatch here on Black Ops. You'll find out for yourself, man. Uh, this game mode is <laughs> just so enjoyable. Uh, I only have one beef with it, and that is that it's over too quickly. I would love to see a classic ground war added to this, uh, you know, a 9 on 9, a big TDM, so, you know, the match could go on a little bit longer, <laughs> because uh, as much as I love, uh, I mean, it's tough to rack up a lot of kills here in classic TDM, especially when you're playing with, uh, you know, strong teammates like I am here, that little uh, blue triangle, there's this guy named Apathy playing with me, and he is an amazing player, I met him last night, and me and him were wailing on each other pretty good, and we decided to uh, party up and dominate, and that's pretty much what we did. Hey, Captain, get up, man. Now, guys, you saw me revive this dude in, in uh, Finals Last Stand, whatever the hell it's called, and I know in a couple of my videos before Black Ops came out, I was ranting that they were bringing Second Chance back, and... I mean, guys, I still wish Second Chance wasn't in the game. I'm not saying I'm a Second Chance advocate, I'm just saying I don't have a problem with it. I'm, I mean, I'm entitled to change my mind. Like right there, I drill that guy. Now listen, guys, second chance. I'm going to say this for the last time because I'm sick of people um, flaming me about this. Look, when you dropped into Final Stand or Last Stand in any other Call of Duty game, you would immediately drop shot the person that killed you with like a second of invincibility, and that is complete nonsense. In this game, when you die, there's like a second you have a vulnerability where you flop up in the air and hit the ground. Plus, you have to use your garbage secondary pistol to kill somebody. Now, if you could survive the flop and kill somebody with these horrible secondary weapons, man, that's not noob stand. That's pro stand. That's pro. So, I mean, like I said, I don't have a big problem with second chance. And, yeah, I know I missed a guy in the right-hand corner over there watching this over. I, I missed him completely. I, uh, I don't know how I missed him, but I did. Uh, <laughs> luckily, I didn't pay for it. He didn't shoot me in the back. So... Anyway, now that I've finished uh, my rant uh, defending myself on uh, pro stand, I mean noob stand, I don't know guys, call it whatever you want. It's I wish it wasn't in the game, it's here, whatever. So, uh, the perks I'm using here guys, lightweight, uh, steady aim, marathon, all pro out of course, and look at the 74U baby. My god, this thing just kills so fast. Uh, I mean, I, some people think that a lot of people use it because it has the most damage um, more, you know, more damage than any other SMG. I think people just use this gun because the iron sights are superior to any other SMG in the game. I mean, the, the AK-74U has got some of the most fantastic iron sights in, in the whole game. Forget just in the SMG class. Uh, I mean, they're really opened up. They're really nice. And, ah, uh, that's my first death of the game. Yeah, I stabbed that first guy with um, Steady Aim Pro, baby. <laughs> Steady Aim Pro is amazing for knifing. You're going to see later on I pick up a double knife. And, uh, actually, I think it's coming up right here. Uh, yeah, it's coming up right here, guys. Check this out. So I kill this dude. These two guys spawn right behind me. Luckily, they didn't kill me. I go knife this guy. This guy's shooting at me and, oh, sit down, chump. <laughs> how the fuck did... Dude, seriously, I don't know how I killed that guy. He was shooting the crap out of me and I just knifed him. Uh, that's bullshit. That can't happen. Uh, you should be able to bring a fucking gun to a knife fight and be okay. Because we all know if that shit went down in the street and that guy was drilling the hell out of me with whatever gun he had, there's no way I would have knifed him. But, uh, you know, whatever. They still got to work on this melee system. I've always said they need to bring back the two-hit gun butt uh, system like they had in uh, Call of Duty 2. If you want to use a knife, whip it out as a secondary. I don't think anyone would have a problem with it and it would solve so much grief. I don't know how the people at Treyarch just can't see this. I mean, guys, I like one. I like lunging people and killing them with a knife. No problem. But, I mean, I should have the knife out already, you know? Especially when people are running around with akimbo weapons and they knife you. I mean, how does that happen? Oh, man, look at this. So, yeah, this is a Call of Duty 4. Uh, I can't take on three guys at once when they're all spread out like that. Especially when one guy drops into pro stand. So, that was my second and final death of the match. But, uh, yeah, guys, I mean, classic TDM, man, this is where it's at. You can use perks like Marathon, Ninja, and, and not worry about getting a, a radar horde with the motion sensor. Uh, I mean, the only problem with classic TDM is that you can't kill horde up, you can't use your dogs to chop a gunner, you only get the uh, UAV, the napalm strike, and the attack helicopter, but... Uh, yeah, as you can see, me and my boy Apathy, man. Apathy is such a strong player, he's on his fifth prestige, and you know what, guys, that fifth prestige does look nice, doesn't it? Uh, that fifth prestige is kind of calling my name, man. It's got the uh, lightning bolt there with the uh, claw. 
I really, really like that. <laughs> but for now, I am not going prestige. I am really enjoying these pro perks. Uh, it's so tedious to go back out and get them again. And as you can see, the people on the other team that we played, my God, look at those KDs. <laughs> they did, uh, yeah, we slapped them around pretty good. Uh, again, not the strongest players in the world we were playing. Uh, yeah, so, all right, guys, classic TDM. Uh, <laughs> what can I say, man? I mean, people, I know that, you know, in COD 4 and World of War, you saw me rush a lot, like I did right here in this video, but in uh, Modern Warfare 2, my gameplay slowed down completely, and that's just because it had to. You know, Black Ops, my gameplay slowed down completely when I play standard TDM. That's because it has to. There's too many people camping with ghost and, and motion sensors. Uh, if you try and run around, I hate getting killed by campers, guys, the bottom line. When campers kill me, it really pisses me off. So, I kind of, I don't know, I kind of turned into one myself, and... But here in Classic TDM, there's no motion sensor. I mean, no one could use a silencer. You can't use any attachments. Uh, this is just pure run and gun. I'm loving it. And, uh, yeah, I plan on playing a lot more Classic TDM. Like I said, I'd like to see some more game modes added to this playlist. Some domination. Definitely Ground War. Definitely Ground War I'd love to see. But, um, all right, guys, that's it. Nothing too fancy here. It's a quick little video. and I wanted to upload a video where I rushed around a lot because a lot of you people were requesting I did that. So here it is. <laughs> uh, I do have a, a couple more games I want to try and upload. Maybe I'll upload another one later on today. I got a 35-3 and three ground war. I might get to that. We'll see if I have time. All right, guys, it's, uh, it's your boy Thunder. Thanks for watching. And uh, all right, I'm out. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.